Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get started with the Max 32630 Featherboard. It's really easy, it's kind of fun, and I promise it'll take less than five minutes. Ready? Let's go. First, here's what you've got. On the right is the Featherboard. I know it doesn't look like a big deal, but it kind of is. It's an ARM Cortex M4 CPU, a Bluetooth radio, a three-axis gyro, and a three-axis accelerometer, and lots of other cool stuff. Now over on the left is the DAP link board. It's what you use to program the featherboard. Oh, and you'll need these. A couple of micro USB cables. One of those micro USB cables plugs in here to power the featherboard, and the other plugs in here to connect to your development PC. You do have a PC, right? Okay, cool. Well, here's what you do. Before you actually plug anything in, point your browser at this web address, find the sign-in link, and set up an account on the ARM Embed Developer site. This will give you access to an online editor and compiler where you can build your projects and, if you want, share your work with the world. You know, bragging rights. Now, once you have your online Embed account set up, you're ready to plug in your hardware. The cable from the DAPLink board goes to your computer and the cable from the featherboard goes to any USB power supply. Now when you connect the DAPLink board, you'll see a new disk drive named DAPLink pop up in your file explorer. By the way, this works on both Mac and Windows, so everybody gets to play. Click on the DAPLink drive and then double click the HTML file. That'll open your browser and register your board with ARM. Now you see that link down at the bottom of the screen, Blinky? Click Import Program. That'll take you to the compiler page where you can import the program into your workspace. Just click import and embed will do the rest. It might take a little time. Okay, that's done. Now find main.cpp and click on it. That's the program you're about to compile and load onto the featherboard. Now, I know it doesn't look like too much, but right there in your workspace is the complete embed OS and all the hardware drivers you need to build a lot of cool projects. But for now, make sure the featherboard is the selected target and click compile up in the menu bar. Now what's happening is your program is being compiled on ARM servers. Don't worry if it takes a little time. After all, you're sharing that compiler with thousands of developers all around the world. And don't worry about the warnings. That's just the compiler being picky. Now once the compiler has built a binary file, it'll send it to your PC. And now comes the fun part. Go to your downloads folder, find the binary file, and just drag it to the Dapplink drive. Now, look at the Dapplink board. You'll see the red status light blink as it sends programming commands to the featherboard. When it finishes blinking, go to the featherboard and press the reset button. Whoa, look at that! The light's blinking! You know what you've done? You've just imported, compiled, downloaded, and executed your very first program on the Max 32630 featherboard. And this is just the beginning. There are hundreds and hundreds of ready-to-go programs in the embed library. And all the documentation you need to use the cool features of the Featherboard is on the embed documentation page. It's just a click away. So get to it. We can't wait to see what you built.